kuwa mchungaji wetu tunampa sifa na ibada we very far we worship you we glorify your holy name in this place of God we are grateful for this father that you brought us of all thank you for coming us thank you for your faithfulness thank you for all that you've done thank you Lord for who you are we have no other God but you Jesus thank you for helping us thank you for helping us Lord thank you for your help oh God thank you for your help Father thank you for your help our oh God we take nothing on our own our Father we count no effort on our own my Father it's all about you Lord it's all about you Father take the glory take the glory Father this far take the glory of the Father many have tried by the never made it of the Father many have tried Lord my Father but we never see the end of it oh God here we are it's all about you Jesus here we are it's by your grace our oh Father this far is just by your mercy Lord Umetutazama na kibali tunashukuru Bwana. Take the glory, take the glory my Father. Let no man take your place of God. Let no man take your place of the Father. It's your Lord that is on the worship of our heart of God. We glorify you in this place my Father. You are God and God alone. You don't need a man to be the God you are. You have times and seasons in your hands of the Father.
Sanzama kule tumetoka Pita umetuku ya niya mwana Shale baganda ya Milango umetukumbulia Bibu umetukumbulia mwana Hakika 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 jehova Kai kai Shale
for God and we are seeing victory in our side. Thank you. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for displaying us for God. We worship you. We give you glory. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Porque ha sido bueno. Me cae mal de amor. Porque ha sido bueno. Porque ha sido bueno. A tu no me engañe ni voy a verte. Tu disfruta o que te casa tu bueno. Tu comba o que tu hay bicha santo bueno. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take the glory. Take the glory, Lord. Take the glory, Lord. You are God and God of our Lord. Shall I answer? You are who you are. Yes, I am. Today and forever What you say is what you do You never fail, you never change You are faithful to you Faithful God, I worship you I worship you You're too faithful to fail me You're too faithful to disappoint me You prove yourself in my life And I've come to realize You're too faithful to fail me You are who you are yesterday, today and forever. What you say is what you do. You never fail, you never do. You are faithful to you. Faithful God, I worship you. I worship you, you're too faithful, you're too faithful to fail me, oh Jesus, you're too faithful to disappoint me, oh you've proven yourself, proven yourself in my life.
Lord, I've come to realize You're too faithful to fail you You're too consistent to live so by You're too committed to live us away You prove it yourself in our lives And you come to realize You're too faithful to live us You're too faithful to live me You're too faithful to live me My Jesus You're too faithful to disappoint me What a faithful God you are So committed to live us halfway What you started Lord, you must finish Because you are a faithful God You are a faithful God You are true reign, faithful God Yes you are Yes you are Lord Yes you are my Father Yes, you are Lord. You are so good, Lord. You are so good, Father. Oh, Lord. We will rise in your name. I don't have you in your life. We will rise in your name. I don't know. You ain't on When Jesus came, when the Lord came to Moses, He said to you, Moses, when I appear to the other who came before you, I appear them as the God. Well, unto you, I appear to you as the Lord who fighted your battles. The Lord who knows no defeat. And here today we declare we shall rise in the name of the Lord. For we know that God is serving is indivisible. He is a warrior. He is God who ordered our destiny. He is the captain who is ahead of us. He is going before us. He is making ways for us. And so we will rise. In your name. So we will rise, we will rise in your name. Call him Adonai, Adonai. Jesus, you reign. So we will rise in the name of the Lord.
Karibuni kwenye ibada ya siku ya leo bwana amekuwa mwaminifu ametuleta ubali huu 
wale ambao wamebini wageni siku ya kwanza eh, don't mind the the structural incompatibility bwana Yesu asifiwe yani najua unashindwa yani tuliweka chuma mzuri hivi afu irufu ni hii just pick yourself this is the last time to recognize structure piga picha vizuri for memories unajua ni vizuri kuweka cover and ni uh, picha huwa nasema hata picha zako ile siku ulikuwa na vaa viatu zingine zilikuwa zinaitwa gogo nani walikuwa miaka hiyo nasikia wale wamecheka wanayo hizo viatu they were the super sports of the time lakini kwa sababu ungeza kunua ile kiatu yenyewe roman kulikuwa na imitation ya plastic ni vizuri kuweka hizo memories so nasema tutaweka hii memory tutachukua video vizuri where we started from and where we are So next Sunday wale ambao mbibia tuwezi kuja katika mjengo kila siku ama at least once a week. This is the last time unaikuta hii. Next time utakuta rufu iko kama futi 18 kutoka hapa. Je unashangaa hii madhabahu haiperekani na hii level? Ni kwa sababu hiyo sio level hii, level yetu ni huko juu. Amen. So pia ni shukuru wale ambao ambao tumehusika tumekuja kila siku hapa, wengine eh, wanajitolea. Uh, na wengine tunakuja maombi. God bless you so much. We appreciate you. That that fact the Lord has helped us. Amen. Pia nashukuru Mungu wiki nimekuwa kule I was able to go to kule headquarter na kuweza kuwa na nafasi ya kuhudumu kwenye MBCI TV. Na nashukuru Mungu kwa neema ile na kwa neno ambalo Mungu alinipa. And then thank God. Eh, it was flowing in the spirit. Hallelujah. This is the same message we uh, uh, Apostle Ritangaza Komba coming week. It's your coming week. The other week we will be dealing specifically with the altars. Hallelujah. Ni wangapi huwa wanafuata MBCI TV, radio, Facebook official ya Apostle, YouTube na pia page yangu na ya Kingdom Seekers Dandora. Amen. So I thank God because that word is it's the word that God gave me licha ile vile tulikuwa bisi hapa as i was praying that is the word god specifically to me altar versus altar hallelujah we met with the prophet yesterday na kanikumbusha tukimaliza last prayer festival the following week aliniambia mungu alimnenea kwa kikujo akamwambia ndikaago temano ndikaago katia yani kwa Kiswahili mzuri ni kusema nini? Eh? Si katatemano. Kitaeleweka. <laughs> I think kitaeleweka ndio mzuri. Yaani iko na maanisha Mungu alimwambia it will be na- God is coming now. The altar of heaven is coming to fight with the altars raised by men, raised by tribalists, raised by politicians list by wicked men watu ambao wanaopaleta mabiashara makubwa na waamini huyu Mungu mkuu wa majeshi wanaegemea miungu mingine wamefuga nyoka na vitu vingine pale the time has come for there to be an overturning in Jesus name hey hallelujah nikombe kama umegandamizwa na madhabahu kwa miaka mingi you are coming out of it in Jesus name the days of ignorance are gone we are operating through the realm of revelation and understanding Hey, kama kuna kitu shetani anaogopa, it is knowledge and understanding. Because the Bible says my people perish not because the devil has so much muscles. Is so powerful, is all wise. My people perish for what? For lack of knowledge. Na ndio maana siku za mwisho, na hizi ndio siku tunaishi. The Bible says knowledge itaja. There is a lot of a teaching ministry. I and I remember I remember many years ago nikisikia Bishop Alison Nganga akisema kwamba one of the ministries ambayo itakuwa very active these last days it is the ministry of the teaching of the word e watu wamechoka kuchukuishwa viti juu e oko yake te unainua viti juu na unatoka ukiwa na ugonjwa unainua viti juu unadanganywa unapepetewa unawaka moto ikifika madi imezima this is not time for excitement it's time to receive real stuff uende nayo kama umeshiba uende ukapigane vita kule nje in jesus name That's why every Sunday as I pray for you here take that word run with it na Mungu atakupigania utashangaa yale mambo Mungu atafanya kwenye maisha yako Amen Now today 
ningetaka kwenda moja kwa moja kwa neno la Bwana baro ningetaka kuendelea in the same topic that's why ukiangalia there is a lot of continuity unaweza kuta kwamba maybe we really meet maybe kuna occasionally we meet kama saa maybe mimi tutakuwa na mkutano lakini utakuta kwamba licha kwamba hatujakutana wote ambao wanahusika kwenye uh, church without walls you will find that there was be a continuity of something naweza kuwa ni mnahubiri leo na mwingine anahubiri kesho na mwingine anahubiri jana but you find kuna connection ya yale mahubiri amen jafu hata hapa kanisani fuatilia mafundisho usiwe wale watu wanakuja kanisa siku moja una skip wiki tatu unakuja wiki ya nne when will you get delivered kama ungekuwa umepatiwa medication na daktari ungekunywa kila siku one times three asubuhi ukikunywa chai hata unaangalia mtoto wako amekunywa dawa ame uh, amepakwa hiyo mafuta maybe ni mafuta nafaa kupakwa fulani ili aweze kupona yani that's what we do lakini ukuta kanisani mtu anaweza kuja kanisani siku moja just when the process has started unaanza kuda yule mtu hata Mungu ameanza kubadilisha maisha then kutoka hapo unaona tena ameondoka I pray for you that you shall be consistent amen that you shall be consistent every day with the word kama hilo neno ambalo tumesikia asubuhi ya leo ya uh, ya benefits za kujenga madhabahu na nikwambie that's very true wakati unapojengea Mungu madhabahu there is a way God will work in your life bwana yesu asifiwe so tunapojitolea hapa hata sikuja tu hapo useme leo kama si, si tafanya kazi nyingine nitakuja tu hapa kuomba nitakuja kusaidia kama jana nikitoka hapa there was so much work hizi bao zote zilikuwa huko ndani uh, uh, zile takataka zote zilikuwa huko katikati hakujaoshwa yani nikiona saa ile vile kulikuwa i wish ungekuwa hapa ungeelewa ile kazi na kuanga hapa don't stay at home when work is progressing here hata kama wengine naona wanamaliza kazi kazini na wanapitia hapa jioni kile tu utakuta mimi ni kumaliza jioni kusanya vitu kuzingisha ndani na mambo mengine husika na sisi hatuamini kwamba hatuamini ngi katika kupatia na contracts kwa sababu hatukitaka kuleta vijana wa mjengo hapa e, wanajenga hapa wakivuta sigara kule juu na wengine wanatukanana unajua zile zuguru lugha zinakuwa kwa mjengo eh para 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 atuwezi ruhusu hapa hata wale wanakuja wanaelewa hivyo hapa tunafanya kazi kwa utaratibu hii ni nyumba ya Mungu tunajenga sio mjengo ya kukawa na watu this is a house of god a place of assembly an altar amen now siku ya leo ningetaka kuweza ku uh, kuendelea na that topic maybe kama ukuweza kuisikiza on uh, sunday I, oh sunday hiyo message sijahubiri hapa wala walikuja ibada ya jioni by the way sana siku za kuwa kuna mali kwa nimeenda ku dedicate another altar somewhere uh, lakini wale walikuja jioni we had uh, two hours of prayers at least the word i just shared briefly na nikasikia hilo neno ndio nitaenda kuhubiri hata lipo aliko kuhubiri kule headquarters it was altar versus altar you can watch it on my youtube channel isaac waidaka ama facebook page yetu ya kanisa pia ni my post na by mbci iko all over pia kwa apostle john kamani william na leo nikitaka tuweza kuweza kuangalia the effects and signs of an active altar in your life the effects na ziunganisha though they should be two separate topics but because signs ah uh, kuna watu ambao wako na Okay for instance can to me fano who do weza kuelewa Kwa mfano tuko tunaelewa hii msimu wa COVID-19 There are those signs over COVID-19 Abosto elezwa kila siku Aha Lakini pia ba, kando na signs kuna effect kwamba unaweza pata ugonjwa fulani na kwa sababu ule ugonjwa hata ukipona maybe uh, kama chicken pox or small pox magonjwa kama yale kuna signs zake lakini hata ikiisha kuna 
kuna effects ita, itawacha kwenye mwili wako HIV na magonjwa mengine they, are, they have signs but they also are, are, have effects in affect nini covid-19 in affect nini in affect mapafu in, a, in a affect the the percentage of oxygen in the system for that reason mambo mengi so unakuta na inaweza cause even other systems to fail sasa nataka kuunganisha haya mambo mawili uh, the signs and effects of uh, an active altar ambao si ya Mungu an active altar because there are altars and this time uh, nitameja sana on altars ambazo sio za Mungu kwa sababu ni sema maisha ya wanadamu maisha ya mataifa maisha ya uh, uh, operations za mataifa operations za mambo mengi inalingananga na madhabahu ambayo yako juu ya maisha yako the operations kuna watu wengi ambao wameteseka sana wamezunguka sana wamepata shida sana si kwa sababu ya kwamba hawana potential si kwa sababu hawana nguvu za kufanya kazi maybe hawana masomo lakini ni kwa sababu kuna other forces behind them ambazo kwa sababu altars have the ability to manage to control to dominate to manipulate manesa wa spirit na wakati ndipo shiriki hili neno ningetaka tuweze kuchukua na wakati mzuri wa ku wa kutafakari na kufuatilia hili neno ili kwamba hili neno linapoendelea you be able to see yourself I thank God with for church without us hata uh, jana jana kuna mtu mmoja alitoka bali sana akasema leo nimepotea kama 30 minutes nikasema nitakuja hapa kanisani mpaka nijue mahali iko kwa sababu kesho sitaki kupotea so finally nikitoka tukakutana naye pale na this was uh, his testimony ya kwamba kuna chako samekuwa nazo kwenye maisha yake Mali na shiriki kanisa ha wana mabia pana brother wakati ukiokoka mabia yako yako sawa lakini you just excuse me i've been born again like now for the last five years but the same patterns that were before i got born again they are repeat, still repeating themselves so uh with this covid 19 season almost by a miracle or by a accident you are kupatana na hii a uh, uh, a uh, church without walls platform ah akaza kusema na nikwe hii mambo sasa hao ndio wanasema ile kitu nimekuwa nikisikia ya kwamba kuna kitu nafaa kuna mambo ambayo hayaendi vizuri haleluya i pray for you in the name of jesus ya kwamba hautakuwa victim tena enough of religiosity unajua dini kuna iko na way ya kuweza kudanganya watu you feel like you are somewhere yeah, you are good you are there mko na maybe building mzuri na nini na mimi obi langu ni kwamba siku moja hii kanisa ya kingdom sika sasa itakuwa dini ya kwamba tutakuja tunachua oh praise and worship praise worship praise neno offering tunatoka he na kata we always be rising that the life of god shall never depart from the house of god hallelujah now effects and signs of uh, an active demonic altar in your life. Wacha tuende kwenye kitabu cha Mathayo 22 as a foundation of scripture Matthew 22 from uh, 25 26 27 28 and 29. Wacha nisome na NIV version. NIV version I like it uh, iko na kizungu rahisi tuweza kukielewa sisi wote. But when you are doing your own Bible study It's good to have more than one version. Even the applications we have in the in our uh, in our phones. Uh, kuna applications that, that are very good. Ziko na you can read all even more than one version in the same scripture. Na ni kama hiyo huwa natumia so inakuwa ni nyepesi sana kuitumia. Matthew 22 uh, from uh, 25 
The Bible says, Now there were seven brothers among us. Sasa ni watu wanahadithia, wanashare an episode, an experience they had seen in Israel. Ya, unajua, kuna mamba mba ya takifanyika kwenu, ya kifanyika ata kwa kwa neighborhood watu wanajuanga tu. Ni watu kuna vile wanaangaliaga boma yenu unasema ai ado haha ado haya hek demoe kila kimale yaka hek ndo siji nani aliniambia hivyo. Alivoaliambiwa na maneba siku moja akitibo sana za kisa was dealing with somewhere. Ah paka maneba sakawaambia inyi ni moe kila kimale yaka. Kwa sababu watu wa observe na ni vizuri wakati mwingine kusikia vile watu wanasemaka kuhusu wewe na kuhusu kwenu. Now these people were reporting to Jesus. Wakasimwambia Jesus. There was there were seven brothers among us. The first one married and died. And since he had no children, he left his wife to his brother. Uh-huh. The same thing happened to the second and third brother right down to the seventh finally the woman died I look at this okay did the story while you listen kuna kibile walikuwa na ulisa mamba ya wakati kutakuwa na ufufuko ma, a, a, ufufuwa wa wafu huyo bibi atakuwa ni nani wa nani yana Yesu akawaambia you err because you don't understand the scriptures hapo huwa na like the 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 king james version huwa inasema you are in error because you do not know the scripture or the power of god and can i say it's much the same thing in the church today people are erring are in error because we do not understand the scripture and the word of god huh? and the power of god there are many people who are living in error now some one of the uh, core values of this ministry is to correct errors in our lives the core value ya biblia is to correct errors in the lives of men errors that are about to deception when you know an error what ukifanya mahesabu utajua kwamba if you make an error unatayarisha balance sheet ama unafanya mahesabu ya nini ama tu mahesabu ya kawaida or if you make a mistake somewhere italeta the wrong results at the end the wrong answer na Jesus kwambia you error because you do not know one the scripture that's why spiritual growth ni ya maana sana kwenye maisha yako purpose to grow in the spirit purpose to take time in the word of god jisome biblia mpendwa sisi wale tunaambiaga watu ya kwamba ukisoma vile tumesoma hapa hata na crude wamesoma na hata idiot wamesoma kwa hivyo huna haja kusoma biblia tena we have your own bible lead your own bible have your season time a program a timetable ya kusoma biblia if you to come out of error lead the bible so you are in error because when jesus comes again when there will be a resurrection of the dead there will be nothing like marriage there will be like, like nothing like my husband my wife hiyo inaishia hapa duniani haleluya ikaigro kwa 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 nati wakati mwingine huwa anajiuliza kwani biguni kutakuwa namna gani ni kwa sababu duniani si kama hapa dunia hapa uh, biguni sio kama hapa duniani hiyo mambo hii mambo tunaona hapa ni ya hapa ya biguni ni mambo tofauti sana oh mimi natamani kufika biguni lakini sio leo I'm still around. Hallelujah. Sitoki hapa kama sijamaliza kazi ya Mungu. Amen. Now, look at this family. Bila sema 
this lady anakuja anaolewa kwa jamii kwa hapa familia hii haikuwa na shida yote hakukuwa anything like premature death in that family but the moment this lady got into that family akaoa kaolewa wakakaa na yule jamaa wako wa kwanza wako wa pili apate mtoto hivyo finally the brother akakufa na because it was uh, raw in Israel you could take your brother's wife and have children kama kwa na, na, na watoto akaendeleza na yeye wakakuwa honeymoon mwaka mmoja miaka miwili mibimba mwaka watatu akakufa the fourth brother the fifth brother the sixth brother the seventh brother ni kama alikuwa ametumwa mission huko alipomaliza mission na yeye akafanya nini akufa I pray that anyone sent in your life with a demonic agenda he has no life power in your life anymore in Jesus name. Do you know what we are doing in mission? Young men ni wambi about mna muko katika maybe kile kiwango cha kutakuwa wa kuolewa. You may marry a devil's agent. Akimaliza tu kile alikuwa anataka. Akuonyeshe upendo mpito mpito. I hope I've used the right tanakali ya sauti eh paka wase kuona yeye huyu jamaa hajaokoka ile upendo ananionyesha hata ma brother haka kanisani hawana <laughs> lakini hujui ametumwa on a mission akisha kutoa and i'm saying this from the experience i know men i know women i know <laughs> people have come to share with me as a pastor when i be a pastor i backslid I remember this story of one this one very sad story Ali Ali backslide in the eight Ali couldn't be a from from one he was she was the um CU leader Kweda University Naka she was always up kwa CU Naka Malisa University vizuri kisha akatuma kazi somewhere ah uh kana bin pastor ni misi jini nini niendelea lakini jipata mikononi mwa huyu you are in the same school he was a teacher with me sijalikuwa senior teacher my head master na alikuwa sikikuwa gogani then akaolewa what now the story that she gave me ni kama story kutoka kwa movie yale mapito amepitishiwa that man ni kama shetani mwenyewe so in a, in a, in a, a very simple description huyo mwanaume maana aliambia this man so they are working so wote wako kazi kila maid akikuja kwa nyumba ni mke wake kwa shule ndi hivyo hivyo anaishiki kwa club ukikikiza mikono kwa jaketi yake unakuta unakuta vitu gani hiyo sitataja hapa lakini unazikuta yani anakuwa galedi eh si unaelewa what i mean yani sasa amefika kiwango sasa sio wanawake peke yake paka wanaume anambia pasta leo nikwe kati sasa mimi nashindwa hata mimi chukua ni sasa nitamwambia fanye nini because the, this man was sent to her as an agent akamtoa katika uwepo wa Bwana. Sasa na nimsiogee kwa marriage imekaa miaka 5 10 na ongea kuhusu mtu ameka kwa marriage over 20 years. But she knows I missed my life. I pray for us young men. Pray to God. Don't make any step that the Lord has not led you. This was the story of this family. This woman was sent. She was a walking a living altar lakini alikuwa ni alta ameinua kwenye maisha yake kuna watu kiujugalisha nao sexually that marks the beginning of your end na kuna watu wengi sina time bia kushia many testimonies but i want to say ya kwamba one of the signs ambayo imetokea vizuri hapo is uh, patterns certain patterns that repeat themselves 
I wish this family were notice akifikisha that bond. But the Bible says people err because they are not they don't know what. Because they don't know the scriptures. What is scripture? Scripture is uh, talks of wisdom, the wisdom of God. That's why the cycle repeated itself. Why? Wakwanza. Wap yapidi. Watatu. Waine. Finally, that family was wiped out because there was an active altar. That's why when Gine wakati to me kokiskiya mahubiri, kuna mabu meansa kufuka macho kona haya. Ha watu wa naitwa kemadi kwetu. Kemadi shio the shiju waga ginya. Chinyuwa ginya, chika nyuwa, chika nyuwa, chika nyuwa, Na unagalia na nikwa, nikwa familia, unawana watu na hitu wa jina furani. There is something that happens. Unazangalia jamienu kute, wale wa meitanishwa na kutoka kwa mama yenu, kuna something peculiar about them. Lakini wale wa meitanishwa na upande wa baba yenu, there is something totally different. Wakiwekwa pamoja ni kama watoto wa, wa, wa familia bili tofauti. Given their level of success, their marriages, how they behave, how they talk, unakuto wale watu wa kutofauti. Check out for patterns in your family. This was a demonic pattern that was in this family. About in watch the community, mpaka watu, ukiena ukiena kuuliza yesu, hilo jambo likoni mwasumbua, lakini, ninawasumbua, lakini hawana jibu. I know there are many people who see things. They don't have the answers to what. Wanaona kuna kitu kweli, mi kuna kitu naona. Lakini siyelewi. May the Lord give you understanding. May the Holy Spirit help you to catch, to pick up a sign. Uwanze kuona na hii ni tashugulikia. Kwa sababu hili jambo siwa na jambo la kawaida. Hallelujah. Now, so when you see repetitive patterns that's the sign ya kwamba kuna kitu ambacho kiko kibaya ukiona kwenye kitabu cha sec, uh, no, first or sec, second kings uh, I think chapter, chapter 2 verse 18 inaongea kusu Elijah, Elisha Elisha and the and the city of Jericho I thank God for those men wali realize wali yona pattern wakasewa humuji ni mzuri lakini there is a cycle ngobe ya nashika dume mzuri sana akifika mwezi wa sita anavya and it has been wakona mwaka wakonsa mbibi unafikiria ni ngobe ilikuwa mgonjwa mbibi ni begwa ikuwa mzuri whatever wakabadilisha mambo wakabadilisha yae wakabadilisha mbomengi mfumo wa u, wa, wa ukulima ukabadilishwa but the results were the same every year the cycle was the same waka approach mtumishi wa mungu kama mtumishi wa mungu hapa kuna shida that is when that the life of that family the life of the families the life of that city was overturned and it turned for the good that evil altar that was raised using the words of Joshua iliweza kuondolewa hallelujah na itada nikitaja uh, uh, the way out the way out of those uh, cycles ita kubaini kwa sababu mbredu ni mnifupi sana if it was I was doing bible study he get a kama one month or two months if you look at the at ok nianza iyo ya kwanza ukiangalia that family kama wake notice kama wake notice the bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so job rakwanza it's knowing the truth knowing the truth when you know the truth yani kumanisha kuna mambo ambayo sasa unaacha kuona vague unajua kuna kitu tunaanga mambo vague you know the more you understand the scripture the more mambo mengine ulikuwa unaona yakiwa kwa giza ah yanaangaziwa na neno la Mungu unaanza kuona kile unaona hapa this is black this is white this is yellow unaanza kuona vizuri two it 
days after the arising wale watu they went to confess they confessed they spoke out to the authority because an authority a special authority has the ability to silence to break to destroy other words that were spoken by another priesthood because it is only a priest because he has an authority that can be able to address another priest because they are in the same so ukiwa upande huo ufalme wa Mungu this role is operational na yeye kwenye mbibi unatoka kulikuwa na sheria inafanya kazi so ilitangazwa kutoka kwa madhabahu unakibia kwa mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye ako kwa madhabahu naye anakalusha kile kilitangaza kilitangazwa kule na ukiangalia Joshua and um, Elisha they had different anointings the level of anointing was very different Elisha alikuwa na portion mara ngapi eh amsomage biblia nataka tujibizane Elisha alikuwa na portion mara ngapi double portion alifanya miujiza mara ngapi mara mbili ya Elisha Joshua alifanya miujiza mingapi Nani najua Joshua alifanya miujiza mingapi katika Biblia? Pastor Code, kuna muujiza Joshua alifanya hapo Pastor Weru. Not that not one that you know about. Ero so one time walisimamisha jua likifanya nini? Ikagoja that one miracle. So anointing is in levels. Graces are in levels. Kuna mali unaweza kuwa unashiriki hata kanisa. Si kama sio mtumishi wa Mungu lakini ako level ya Joshua. Unaweza kuwa unashiriki kanisa lakini yule mtumishi ako level ya Elijah. Alifanya wewe miujiza kadhaa. Lakini tazama Elisha. He had a double portion. That's why he could so easily revoke what was spoken by Joshua. Tunaelewana. Anointing is in Levels. Graces are in levels. Mtu mmoja kanipiga simu akaniuliza pastor. Ninataka kuniuze swali. Na Paul sana kuchukua muda wako. Nikuulize. Mimi nashika kanisa fulani. Lakini mimi nasikia kuna uh, it is issue hii ni issue ya madhabahu ni kwa napigwa simu. Akaniambia mimi yeta mimi sina mpango wa kuwa hiyo kanisa. Lakini nasikia hii dhabihu inafaa kupeleka kwa mtumishi fulani, madhabahu fulani nikamwambia that is in order because the spirit in you the bible says the spirit in us be a witness with our spirits the spirit of god be a witness with our spirit so if you feel that the spirit of god is giving you a witness of the spirit do exactly that na ukiangalia sisi kwa sisi kwa tunatangazia watu na kuambia waache makanisa yao na dini zao wakuje kingdom seekers no we are teaching people the word Mungu akikunenea ukwishi ukae tuko hiyo kanisa weka hiyo kanisa Amen Mungu akikwambia toka toka Eh Bwana Yesu asiwe So this man went and confessed Kuna watu wengi kile kimefanya patia shetani liko ground kwenye maisha yenu Na hiyo liko ground iko na grip kwenye maisha yako Because there are things you did you never confessed not to anybody but to a true servant of God who has authority who has gracing upon ya kiwango kile na anointing ya kiwango kile atakufungua i have seen people wakija kule mlimani hata tu hapa kanisani tunakuja na ku ile mambo una akikongeresha paka anasikiza kama kuna mtu around pastor Unaingia dada moja bia anakuja kuleta kikombe ya, 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 ya maji moto ananyamaza. Ameendelea eh, hapana. Eh, wacha kwanza atoke. Zinaitagwa unhot unspoken. Zida man spoken. Those unspoken things. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13. This is very key. Kwa sababu hiyo one of the areas Christians have been caught because it's a spiritual 
principal. 28 da aqui, the Bible says this. O compare, o sobe a copa moja. 28 da aqui, the Bible says, He who conceals his sin does not rot. E, o compare com a Bíblia com. 28 da aqui, o sobe a copa moja. He who conceals his sin does not what? Prosper. But whoever confesses and renounces them finds what? Mercy. So prosperity is a dimension nyingi. Apart from giving and receiving, it is another dimension. Yakoba wakati kuna dhambi kwenye maisha yako, you can never prosper. That constitutes a curse. And confessed sins give a legal ground to the enemy. Ukienda kusimama. Dada moja hapa, ni moja tuwe tuwapa. Niambia vile, aliyota doto, akaota ati ninafungulisha watu hapa. Nikitangaza. Nikitangaza ati apoke. Do you remember this testimony vizuri? Aha. An elderly woman akatokea na kachukua vitu zake. Now kwa this dream unajua kwa dream huwa inakufundisha mambo mengi sana ina hizo two dakika chache utaota. Akaona ti huyo mama ile siku alipozaliwa yule mama alikuwa sije ameolewa kwao. Then the the shugoka akamfukuza. Na wakati huyo huyo mama sasa sasa ni mama sasa ilikuwa ni mtoto mdogo katoto kamezaliwa ati akaona wakati mtoto alizaliwa huyo this lady alizaliwa ameshika utajiri mkubwa sana nyota kubwa sana ati yule mama akachukua nyota akaenda nayo but then so anaona bado nazidi nika nikakimbisha yule mama nikamwambia nika leta baraka za huyu mama akawaachilia akarudishiwa na true to the to that story alipoenda kwao maana it's a long story vile maana also the mother alitoka kwa ile jamii akaenda kaoleka kwingine so yule brother yake elder brother akabaki kule kwao kule kwa the huyo sho sho akaenda kutafuta maana kulikuwa pia na neno limesemekana ati vijana mtoto wa kijana asiwahi tolewa hapa hata yeye anakuelewa na kwingine so mama alienda na huyo msichana peke yake brother yake mkubwa akabaki huko so akaenda yeye mwenyewe na sio miaka mingi imepita i'm talking about last year hii season ya covid akaenda kutafuta brother yake akaenda akakuta guka yake akaomba hiyo historia do you know zilingiana hivi like mortis and tendon joint hiyo kitu walionyeshwa kwa ndoto it is exactly that which happened this woman kwa sababu alitoka kwa, kwa na, na uchungu sana ndio maana ame affect this, this lady but when she started coming to church Mungu ameza kubadilisha maisha yake hallelujah god is going to work in your life kule umekuwa katika cycles demonic bondages shetani amechukua ame vitu kutoka kwako let me tell you the enemy has no more power over your life anymore so prosperity is a product of of what of confessed sins there are people who are living under a curse today unaishi kwenye laana kwa sababu kuna dhambi ulifanya and this story i always share na huyu msichana mmoja amekuja kule mlimani akanipatia so sasa amekuja kwa ofisi kujua what is a legal ground it happened that that i think monday morning it was a morning service nikakuwa na ubiri kuhusu legal grounds and all that akasikia hilo neno ameshaisikia lakini akumbuki ni wapi lakini this what happened katika maisha yake siku moja kiomba amemaliza college alikuwa anasomea hata wasiji hapa nipsa mapya hapa hizi cpa hapa vicar road alipomaliza in between alikuwa ameokoka wakashikana huyu kijana akapata mimba kijana akamwambia yuko tayari kuoa nini so wakadecide kufanya abortion they did it alikuwa kanisani akapotea kanisani wiki mbili tatu mwezi mmoja kisha karudi So walipomaliza shule yeye yeah, ameweza yeah, ku wengine wa, marafiki wake wote wamepata kazi wamepata kazi na nini bado wako kwa brother yake na huko ndio bado walisomea unajua kuna mali unakaa paka unasikia sasa I'm being too much it's too much mimi ni kama ni kama ninasumbua watu hawa 
akaenda kuomba akasikia tu bibi saligo crown in your life bibi saligo crown akujua ni nini akuja mlimani akienda kuomba akasikia bibi saligo crown in your life so akakuja kwa ofisi akaniuliza pastor oti saligo crown kamuleze aligo crown ni jambo lolote ambalo linazalitumika na shetani ikampatia mfano mzuri ukishikwa na simu hii yangu ikuwe traced ifuatwe na polisi upatwe kwa kibeti yako na iwe mwenye hiyo simu aliwawa legally you be charged because you are handling stolen property na kile kilifanyika kwa yule mtu utalipia ile gharama that constitute a legal ground kaambia what is that you did in your life ambayo is a legal ground ya kalipatia story sasa so we prayed with her she knelt down nikamwambia confession that marked the beginning of her rising again i pray for you in the name of jesus yakoba kama kuna dhambi umefanya kwenye maisha yako na kuna legal ground imefanyika and there is something that you you know the enemy is using may the lord give you the grace to release it oh to confess it na hata tulipo tusemesha toba kubali kusema ile toba na kutaja ile dhambi useme na bwana nilifanya ulifanya nini Fa, sema bile ulifanya and that is the way to deal with those legal grounds haleluya so ninaenda nikiwa very bold kwa sababu ningetaka to the end of the the few minutes that i have utoke hapa na kitu bwana yesu hii si mambo ambayo tuna tuna ni tuna papasa papasa si kitu na papasa hapana ha mtumishi wa bwana johana aliandika akasema the things that i have had i have seen i have touched with my own hands these things do you declare to you na mambo mengine mungu huhakikisha kwamba sio kusikia ulisikia na watu you are a victim yourself i know there are things that even have happened in our old family kule nimetoka and they constituted a legal ground until the lord revealed to me some years back na kanikumbusha through a dream so another sign another sign ya mambo ambayo yanafanyika kwenye maisha yako there is an active altar in your life it is the kind of dreams that you receive what kind of dreams do you have na zingine doto they are so repetitive ina inajirudia mara kwanza i wish naweza pata time muende kwa my youtube channel huu wakati wa covid 19 i was able to do like almost 20 something series zinaitwa to a demystifying dreams just watch over them i may not be able to cover uh, and also a book is underway i may not be able to cover lakini kwambie doto huwa zinaongea kwa watu sana na watu wengi wale may ignore doto to their own harm kwa sababu doto ni kama inakuwa ni kama ni kama unaperekwa katika ulimwengu wa kiroho it is like a spiritual secret service ambao ina e, e, ama kama CCTV camera ama zile drones kuna vile technology uh, uh, mataifa yanatumia drones kwenda kufanya investigations maana hata ikienda huko haita hata ikigongwa kuna mtu atakufa zinachukua kamera wanaona vile kuna pangwa wanaona formation ya jeshi then they know how to do on the other hand the kind of dreams that you have zitakwambia wengine tunaota kila mara unaotokiwa kwenye nyumbani ijeshagi kwa shosho yenu kwa ile environment ha bia zamani ya umasikini na unaona nyumba maybe umebomboa nyumba ya hilo ya kwanza mkajenga nyingine 80s 90s tena hiyo ikabombolewa sasa mkajenga nyumba nyingine ya kisasa ya mawe lakini wewe unapoota hautaki ukiwa kwa hiyo mawe unaotaka ukiwa kwa ile ya nyasi it tells you there is something that was done in that home hiyo miaka and the enemy hata ukijaribu kuinuka anasema hapana hapa nilichikiwa kondo hapa nilimwagiwa damu hapa kuna mambo yalinenwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Look at the case scenario ya Jericho. Wale watu walikuwa wanateseka kwa nini? Kwa sababu kuna maneno yalitangazwa. Yule atakaye inua 
mji huu akianza kujenga misingi akitibua foundation the first born atakufa mende yasreta the bible says this man who was called who was called who was it well or who from uh, let me remember that name yo yo okay that this kwa sababu ya ya recording purposes uh, adika of uh, Joshua chapter 6 verse 26 it's a very key scripture in that 626 ah uh, at that time Joshua pronounced a solemn oath cast before the the Lord is the man who undertakes to build this city Jericho and the cost of this firstborn son I'll, it uh, will be lay its foundation at the cost of the youngest I will set up its gates now when you go to first kings chapter 16 first kings chapter 16 and verse 34 first kings chapter 16 and verse 34 it's good to make note of these scriptures kwa sababu zitakusaidia even in the future in ahab's time kiel of bethel rebuilt jericho hada habari ya kwamba kuna mambo yamefanywa huko kuna madhabahu kuna maneno there's a cast there's a hex what that was spoken are speaking against that that city uh-huh. he laid its foundation at the cost of his firstborn son abiram he died just like that na nikwambia there are many premature deaths in families watu wanakufa lakini haikufa wakufe may the lord deliver us from demonic and premature deaths in jesus name may the lord reveal uh, 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 and open our eyes to see these things to understand them the struggles wakati mwingine tuna struggle financially haitokani na wewe there are things that were done manes that were taken to a long altar had on by a long pastor had on by a, a long servant in, of god in quotes waombezi in quotes moyo ya neli pako memsave kwa simu tumoja iko na bali kwa msave e mwombezi wa gataga mohoi wa lemuru wao huh. ha yeah. At the cost of his son Abiram he set up his gates at the cost of his youngest son Sehub in accordance uh, 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 at the gates he did it at the cost of his youngest son Sagub in accordance with the word of the Lord spoken by Joshua son of Nun Hallelujah Sasa huyu mwandishi anaandika from a level unajua the Moses all scripture was written by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit Sasa huyu mwandishi he is able to connect what happened in first kings chapter 6 chapter 16 and what happened in Joshua chapter 6 verse 26 sasa huyu anaandika through the revelation but what happened to yell hakujua and that is what is happening in many people's lives today you are struggling ukichangalia wewe uko na bidii hautakaki mchezo na kazi lakini unafanya kazi kama ndovu lakini results wewe unakula kama panya yani your input and output has has ingiani may the lord deliver us from the same in jesus name hallelujah now the kind of dreams you kwa dreams wakati unapoota ndoto ukiwa kwenye mashabani kwenu it tells you there are those things that happened there kuna mambo hayo yalifanyika Mm-hmm. Get there. wakati unapoota ndoto maybe one of the uh, uh, basics sababu this is also a very wide topic unapoota ndoto ya kwamba zinaita kwa sleep paralysis sleep paralysis ni wakati unatembelewa usiku. Mkina nasikia umekaliwa hapa kwa kifua. Yaani nita nikao mtu amekuja akakalia hivi. Alafu anakushika shingo. Jesus! 
Unakoka branketi bateke kana kama uko na spouse wako ama mtu mwana na unamgoka magumi hapo it is you there is an active altar why are those demons coming to access you kwani ziko na uwezo kuja the enemy does not attack at random at TV anakoka huyo anakoka yule hakuna there must be something the enemy is following anasema hapa ninajua kuna kitu changu hapa mbona wewe na ni wabale hii mbona wewe uliokoka uli watu tigile niki kuja hapa utakata yesu jesus na kwa sababu the name of jesus is the name above every other name zina toroka asema ok ndita kuja eh na watu hota na watu kushoka mbona yesu asiwe the solution to that is to pray to God to reveal to you what is this that happened kwani kitu gani hii ilifanyika ask pray to God for revelation ask God pray to God na nikwambia Mungu ni mwaminifu prayer is not just about telling God give me this give me the other hapana omba Mungu mwambie Mungu nifunulie hii siri bwana nionyeshe ni kitu gani kifanyika I'm telling you mi kama kote niona Mungu alionyesha hiyo ndoto akanifunulia mambo naye I was a young boy barely less than 10 years this is what happened to that home but we back miaka mingi baadaye na imefanya to serve sana hilo jambo until just the other day less than 10 years ago ndio Mungu alinifunulia na akanionyesha the kind of prayers we need to pray the kind of sacrifice in terms of money ni pesa ngapi na iko 1200 ama 20 ama 50 ama 70 ilikuwa pesa nyingi na Mungu akatuambia take this money to apostle kemani that's what we did kutoka siku hiyo ndikaona kumeanza kuwa na wepesi kuna mambo zamani there is a time you know there is a time mimi ukiona hata watu wakijifanya kujinyonga and suicidal spirits because that's a sana another sign suicidal ile kusikia ni kama utakutajinyonga unacho kuna kati unasikia ni dora ga ni de wake ni ile unaanza kuwa mpaka hauna dhamana yote sasa kusema sasa mimi sasa mimi ni wanini sasa sasa fadhali tu nikufe those suicidal thoughts they tell you kwa sababu kuna madhabahu kuwa yanataka kuchukua uhai za watu There was this young man. I thank God for heaven's kid. Alikuwa anaota hii ndoto kila mara. Alikuwa anaota eh, vile bomba za kwetu kishaki tunaelewa. Shoshona anaweza kuwa amecheka na hapo. So because your father is a firstborn, amepatiwa shamba na kule mwisho. So this young man kuna mali angepitia kwa hiyo shamba yao. Hivyo para kwa shosho yao. Lakini hiyo ndoto ameiota kutoka primary, secondary na mimi years baada ya college anaota akipita kale kanjia alikuwa anapitia kutoka kwa baba yao akienda kusalimia shosho at this particular point akifika hapo anatokezewa na watu wanamkimisha so anaamka kila mara alikuwa anaamka amesweat ana amehoma now they got to a dream hawakulishika sasa kio mlimati akiomba this what the, the spirit of the lord spoke to him akamwambia in that particular spot there is something that happened in the family na wakaua mtu na wakazika hapo na mtu yule akadisappear kuna mtu alicho kwenye alienda sasa akapiga simu nyumbani akiwa tu mlimani akauliza wakati aliuliza watu walishtuka kumbe nani alikwambia Baba mimi si mtu aliniambia mimi nilikuwa naomba Mungu akaniambia hivyo. So what do you do with that? Depend of that scene. The Bible says the blood ya mwanadamu ikimwagika hapa. Mtu uwawe pale nje. Tusipo deal na hiyo damu itakuwa ikiongea itaitisha kulipishwa kisasi. That's why one of the things tunapoinua madhabahu haya ni madhabahu ya kunyamazisha damu za watu waliouawa. We know hapa ni 41. Watu wengi washawishi ayudiwa hapa. Blood speaks mali kukimwagika damu mara moja isiposhughulikiwa either inuk ilimwagika by accident bora ya mwanadamu all 
by uh, whatever means maybe in kwa sababu ni mtu alitolewa dhabihu ama ni watu walipigana it needs a man of god kwenda kukombea mahali pale na tuseme hii damu tunanyamazisha kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo isiwaitisha kulipishiwa kisasi maana isiponyamazishwa italeta vita italeta mwekaji mwingi wa damu haleluya may the lord reveal to you this is my prayer for you Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 the mother verse 3 inasema call unto me and i shall answer you i shall tell you what great and unsearchable things that you know nothing about na nikwambia ignorance is no defense in fact ignorance it is the realm of the enemy so long as you are operating without liberation you don't understand oh you will be taken for a ride Shetani atakuwa kikupeleka kama gadi ya kuibiwa. Eh, unapigishwa makona hivi unapelekwa hivi kama farasi. Yeah? I pray that the enemy shall not be the steering shall not be on the steering wheel of your life. Take the reins of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Niko tu kwa dreams. Hizo ndoto za kuota ukila chakula. Kiota ukikula chakula ukirishwa chakula kuna watu ambao ukifunga ile siku unafungua kama kesho usiku unaota umekulishwa manyama <laughs> unakula paka unaamka asubuhi unasikia ndio kama unataka breakfast okay ile ile tuko yani unasikia hutaki kukula na usitakajiki ati okay physically hakuna chakula ingia kwa tumbo lakini uko ni kwamba mwanadamu is type e, amegawanywa mara tatu there is the soul there is the spirit or there is the body whatever happens in the spirit man is transmitted through to the mind through the soul na dio hiyo ndio unaisikia physically that's why the, the purpose of an altar altar kama hii unaona tumeidua hapa mimi kile na address hiyo hii mili na address the spirit man because the spirit man is the real man when you are delivered it is the spirit man who in ana affectiwa inakuja kwa the soul yam na mwili wako so wakati unapoumka umeshiba is because the spiritual yam maybe you are summoned in that altar hata kama uko Nairobi there is a case i'm dealing with na huyu mtu wako America sometimes my wife was kisa kaide state babo tunaongea paka na naona hata yeye amesha amesha maana mtu wako America na ametoka hapa Kenya na amekaa kule miaka mingi lakini katika miaka yake ya utoto kwa ni kutoka na huku pande wa kisi hey mara sijaka kuwa mgonjwa mgonjwa hivi mgonjwa mgonjwa na iba ya mama yake hapo akamwambia ah huyu kijana wako amesumbuka sana kuja nikupeleke mahali kapeleka mahali aenda kwa nyumba za watawi yakafanywa nini yakachanjwa kaweko madawa kalishwa mavitu sasa bwana alipigia pasta usiku nimepikwa nauza na nani ninaona kuwa tulienda huo mchawi walinishika wamenipiga usiku bwana sasa uniambie kisi na america how many kilometers anaonya nyororo imemfunga imetoka kwenye yako imeenda mpaka kaburi fulani na anaijua hiyo kaburi iko kwa nyumbani usicheze na mambo spiritual useme ati ulitoka kwenye ukakuja Nairobi in the spiritual realm there is nothing like distance eh in the spiritual realm there is nothing like distance or space space to to kuiona hapa in the spiritual realm ukifikiria kuwa America uko America saa hiyo so unless that link so you are working with that brother day after day na nikamwambia this this is a journey sita ku promise ya kwamba ni kitu tukaoka mara moja no it's a journey and that's something you also you need to know sometimes deliverance is not instant usitani ya kwamba nimekuja nimekuwekea mkono sema ah nigeombewa we ingia fasting next week tunaingia jurai prayer festival ingia pray like you never prayed in the month of june pray like the month the, the prayer festival of, of may never existed 
pray like you never prayed the 10 days omba kila siku ni kama huko bachana because na wewe hujui on the other end walikuwa wamefanya mambo gani haleluya another pattern we been because of the na dreams ni wakati kuna kuna watu katika familia zao there are things that happen in a certain month mwezi wa saba kuna kitu ni lazima kifa in your family kama sio kwa mama yenu ni kwa kazi yenu paka inafika ka august mnaanza kuangaliana nani ni roho anakata agodhie eh ni kweli this things to happen yani wakuta hata ukiangalia kwenu unazaida uangalie kwa kwa graveyard ya kwenu nyumbani sunlight <laughs> this month this month sunset uangalie sana uangalie sunset sunset july 26 wakuta ingine utakuna July 22 na ingine ni July wa wewe wako mwingine alipatiwa bonus akaka 27 days mwingine ikifika July 1 he was cut short what does that say it says there was a major sacrifice there was an annual sacrifice that would be done corporately by a family in a induliwa sasa mliyoba the years mkaachana nayo madhabahu inajua kuja kujitishia Kwani watu wanarudi kwa wepesi kwenye migumbo kuwa pa central kwenda kutisha kondoo kwa sababu hatukudiri na ena madhabahu tuliwachana tu nayo hapo tukaingia kanisani sasa over time madhabahu inaitana we gekoyo ando wa nyoba niki mwake digana ilie hizo kondoo mnatoa hata hiyo si hata Yesu ni munini ni mwana kondoo wa nani wa Mungu na inaitana upande mwingine central Mwagi Sibu kucha mtoe kondoo kwa body fulani mtaruti yani ati kuna kondoo fulani amkutoa ya kudhambia gaja waka yake okay. na kuambia utakuta from there me have that me i thank god goes kuna kesi nyingi ni medil nazo this one brother told me how alienda so innocently akasa kutoa zile kondoo mtu baye alikuwa anafanya contract uh, contractor uh, alikuwa anambia pastor mimi nikienda maji kwa muhindi hadi juu jina hata juu majina yangu mawili hata nitishi id ninachukua cement tra, uh, trucks mbili miguu 28 anaenda anauza ana make millions of money anaenda analipa wakati alipoingia kwa hizo mavitu sababu yale hata kuweza kuja na elfu moja hata tano ya kocha tuombe na yeye it was a great struggle kupata mtu alikuwa na operate na millions and you know that that's that's true it is written in the scripture i think i read that scripture niki nikiubidi siko iko jeremiah what hiyo siko imeandika bibi uko 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 manaandika lakini like kunasema kwamba when we return to those altars somebody who wrote that uh, scripture uh, i quote the i had written it in other notes uh, it was jeremiah what it's very key inao sema kama even their children remember the shrines na inasema for this reason i shall take their wealth and i shall give it to the nations somebody who found that scripture Ah. Let me check it because I'll be copy jingine. But you come back later. Yeah, let me check. Do you want to say when you read notes? Notes are very powerful. written many notes uh, i hope i get it somewhere but in my was the book of jeremiah na sema the they remember even the children remember the altar of their fathers the shrines kwa sababu ya hiyo 
I'll take their wealth from their hands na nitaipatiana kwa mataifa aha okay I don't seem to get it i wish i have found it it's a very powerful scripture ndiki ilikuja tu nikihubiri nikaisoma then i did not it but ni sema hivi altars that were raised by our fathers altars that were raised in the days that we did not know se 171 yeah ah uh, yeah Sikiza hivi Jeremiah 17:1 inavyosema This is one of the key scriptures unapo deal na traditional ancestral altars Nimesema Judas sin is engraved with an iron tool Is kept the front point I uh, version kidda huwa zinaongea kuhusu the diamond the sharp one of the sharpest uh, 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 f- uh, the sharpest point ambazo kwa met kwa chuma inakuwa ni diamond. Kuso kuna version zinasema with a diamond a uh, uh, point uh, of flint with a flint point or diamond flint uh, flint point on tablets of their hearts and on the horns of their altars. Horns of their heart. Altars. Even their children remember their altars and Asherah poles. And that is what exactly is happening. Our children they are remembering because it is flowing in the family so they are remembering to go back there is that what will happen beside the spreading tree wewe kutoa dhabihu chini ya miti si sasa hii imeanza hapana there is nothing new under the sun and on the high hills kule kedenyaga na kwingineko my mountains in the land and your uh, 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 my mountain in the land and your wealth and all your treasures i will give away as plunder together with your high places because of sin throughout your country through uh, uh, through, uh, through your own fault you will lose the inheritance i gave you i will enslave you to your enemies in a land you do not know you have killed my anger and it will burn forever this is what the lord says hallelujah so tunapona the bihu zinaza kurejerewa za traditional you need to check to to to, to fear and tremble see as uh, see that ya kuogopa kile kinafanyika it is we fear we go back to god with the fear and trembling and repent for our nation lakini leo kuna kitu kitu mungu atafanya kuna watu ambao kwa sababu sasa wameinuka wamepata pesa they can be able to raise those sacrifices that the lord is coming and he's going to take away their wealth and they are going to kufilisika na hii kitu ni me experience ndio ndugu alikuwa ananiambia sasa tadi wakati nimeanza kuja ka, uh, kwa mlima ndio nimeanza kuona artist nimeanza kupata tu kazi kidogo napata hapo 1500 lakini kwa mtu ulikuwa na earn millions unacho hata ukipata 100000 ni kama hiyo tu ni kama pocket money i pray for us those who are affected financially because of altars you got you involved in knowingly or unknowingly may the lord deliver you in jesus name that's why it comes to giving in church giving in church you should give with this mimi nilipotoa dhabihu <laughs> mimi kutoa sadaka si ile si ile pesa iko makofuko na toanga i don't give by what i have in the pocket it is something i have ni me ni me ni ni kwa mawazo yangu iko ndani ya moyo ninajua dhabihu my life revolves around that altar around the sacrifice that i give na wakati umejua it's a good altar you are connecting to me can give last week product and ndipata ndi pesa hivi hapa na pale na nikaachwa hiyo pesa nitaongeza na zile niko nazo yangu mimi nitoe dhabihu kwa hii madhabahu kwa sababu ninayamini pia not only as a priest but also as a beneficiary na tukitoa bali tutume kwa pebil tukaabishikana mikono na mke wangu tukaambia na hii dhabihu tunatoa itutete kidogo wakati ninapoinuka hapa there are other many other priesthoods around na waabudu Mungu isipokuwa ni Biblia wanaekelea pale kwa dhabahu ni makuhani wa giza ni diviners ni false prophets actually ni wachawi they only use the bible eh unaenda bali unaewa unaambiwa hiyo eh kikokona ke ule Eh, unapatia kwa Bible 
unaweka hiyo pesa hapo ndani so so una, unafunikwa macho na biblia lakini ni mchawi tu wa kawaida kutoka hapo anything and everything that should go wrong itaanza kuanguka may the lord help you to rise again in the name of jesus hallelujah naona muda wetu umeenda na kwa sababu this is not the, the last time ninahubiri hii message hata next sunday ndio itaendelea nayo the first topic ni hubiri ni ongea kuhusu altars versus altars ndio naongea kuhusu signs and the effects ya madhabahu we will continue you want me let me let me read one more let me i share like two more uh but i never want to have share today uh ni sema kwamba kuna issue ya magonjwa strange sicknesses that doctors cannot accurately diagnose yani unaenda hospitalini ukipiga nduru unapigwa picha zote unaambiwa rara hivi unapigwa na huko nyuma unarara hivi unapigwa paka umerara hivi x-ray hakuna kitu inatoa ngo wanasema there is no unapimwa damu inapimwa inapimwa nini tunazaka na malaria unapimwa h pyrori unapimwa si usema yengine eh una unapimwa zote mpaka covid hauna covid inasemekana sasa x-ray imekosa wewe ndio ingeshi kuna kimashini kiki na kinaitagwa city scan unaraka hapo kama maiti hivi unaingisha inafinywa button unaingishwa ndani inakuchukua picha kutoka kichwa mpaka vidole vya miguu wanatoa results the cerebro iko sawa sigo iko sawa moyo inafika sawa unaambiwa enda kwa toilet utletee the results zinapimwa vipimo zote hakuna ugonjwa hiyo inakuambia huo si ugonjwa those are spirits sasa spirits spirits haiwezi kuwa diagnosed kwa laboratory spirits haiwezi shikwa kwa kamera maybe mungu aruhusu ndio siku yale kama kuna malaika hapa wana operate very rarely will an angel apia ama uweza muona ama tukichukua video maybe hapa tunaweza chukua video muone malaika hapa watu wakiwa watch video waone malaika wako hapa wengine wamesimama na sword na wengine wanapepea tu hapa lakini very rarely with such things happen but the truth is there are angels at work amen those unexplained cycles of sicknesses i have dealt with such cases kunaombea mtu image tu kesa kumwombea inahitaji uwe na asha kama watatu ama waine hapo kwa sababu mapepo itaanza kuongea sema hapana hatuwezi toka huyu tutamuua huyu tutamuua huyu awezi ishi it is you there is something the enemy has kuna kitu kilifanyika alifanya ama kilifanyika kinahusia naye moja kwa moja na shetani akapata liko ground may the lord deliver us from those demonic sicknesses hallelujah there are many people who have died not because they should have died there are those strange sicknesses strange sicknesses nimeshaombea watu hapa hata akiwa na kansa na akapona kabisa i talk should have kansa kwani especially kama ugonjwa wa kansa kansa is not just another disease it's one of the one of the sicknesses that emanate from demonic altars wengine ni kurushiwa mishale i have dealt with people aliota usiku akaota ati alirushiwa mshale hata aliumwa aliota usiku ati ameumwa na kamdudu kwa titi lake kutoka hapo after some three, three, three four months anakuwa diagnosed kwa na kansa ya matiti na many others funny dreams nikwambia usicheze na doctor their dreams ukiota immediately go into fasting look for a man of god learn to the horns of the altar and fight from the altar give a sacrifice wage warfare do intercession do repentance anything the spirit needs you to do hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe naona muda wetu umefika ah ah tutamatishe because i also proceed next week ni sema kwamba 
those sicknesses um, that are repetitive unaweza kuta kwa familia yenu kile kiliwa your grandmother is the same that you, you killed your mother uh, they also killed the the other show show uko huyo mwingine pia kuna hiyo cycle i pray that in our generation those demonic cycles hazitapita hallelujah the bible says the lord who says this far have you come but not any further yani kuna hizo cycles zimekuja zikizunguka katika kizazi chetu tunakatisha those cycles na kusema mmekuja mpaka ubali huu not any more in jesus name hallelujah this next week we also be running the same na na pia hata kwa prayer festival i pray that this marks this season marks the end of operational and uh, 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 and active demonic attacks from our families from our tribes kwa sababu na babu hata inaikana umetoka kabila gani those demonic tribal altars abazo hufuata watu nakuta mtu ni mkikuyu eh kuna hiyo madhabahu ya kupenda pesa sijui hiyo madhabahu ilikilia wapi hata inasemekana hata watu ukienda kwa mauchari utaye kujua kama watu wamekufa kweli uagushe pesa uone mtu akiumbisha kichwa wewe ne nebesha hiyo kwamba rais wa siwe there are some and kweli kuna mambo mengi ya Mungu anafanyika unaweza kuona tu ni kama mambo ya ya, ya siyo ya, 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 ni mambo tu ya kawaida lakini si hivyo the enemy is doing something but i pray for us ya kwamba mambo ambayo alizuilia wazazi wetu madhabahu yaliyozuilia bali zetu madhabahu yalizuilia watu wengine sisi sasa tuko na Kristo hatutazuiliwa we are walking in the revelation of the word of god kuna mambo kuna historia tunabadilisha those demonic cycles the other day we are praying for our mom our mother i drew kasa kona akiwa na shida ya mifupa anaanza kutembea kama mchika hivi siku moja so we are praying for her from this end akatuambia siku moja alisikia ameambiwa eli wote nage kwa hiyo bali yona iko dakika hiyo kidogo alituambia aliambiwa nini akaambiwa alisikia yeye mwenyewe na ni mkatholic alisikia ameambiwa at the no show my head ni murimo wa dela wa dela wa dela sia nyu or something so tukata tukamwambia tukamwambia wewe hautainama hautavujika ndio watu wanainama kama hivi kata ni kuunua mahideni ikoma ndio usione mbele unaanza kukujua hivi unaanza jamaa miaka inaenda mimi nitaenda biguni kama nimesimama hivi hey maraisi asiwe hadi jamaa ukifikisha weka 60 unaanza kuinama hivi nenda demo ukifika sasa tu unaanza kuinama hivi yani faida mpaka una hapa na mimi sitaenda kwa kabuli kama nimeinama nitatembea eh bana sasa sivi yani hata ukifika biguni unashaka hali leo dry kaka unajua ile kwa ni nyumba sasa basaidi nyumba gani ilikuwa na kaa unajua ukifika biguni hautafika na hiyo mwili lakini hata utakuwa na jiangalia unajihurumia kai hao ni dry kaka kama dakika kwa kwa unaona unaona kama video kwa bikundi vile ulikuwa unatembea hapa duniani i pray for us that those demonic cycles ah ni lazima ziondoke na sio tu kwa jamii zetu hata hapa ndandora mahali tuna hudumu una even environment vya inaka na kwa bia itabadilika we are raising this altar na ndio ningetaka tunapotoa dhabihu hata tunapotoa sadaka tunapojenga hili jengo let your mentality of giving change watu wanapita hapa nasikia uh, duru zinazoaminika na sisi waaminika au okay, zinaaminika wanapita hapa nasema hii church ni wasoko yani wamecheka wanabomoa hii na venye iko mzuri haimaanda kwa kae hana hata he hii kanisa ni ya masonko nasema oh, hivyo mmesema ndi hivyo you have seen well eh hivyo mmeona ni kweli na sio tu hivyo wanaona we are going to offer sacrifices that will go into, that is going to silence other sacrifices ati mtu alitoa hapo ka kondo ati sasa anatawara hapa kibiashara ah hapana i will give that something that will cost me hapa unajua guvu za madhabahu ni zile sadaka zimekelewa pale kuna hey goti kitu mbona mbona unajua mbona mnashaka hapa venye kuna kaa hakuna kitu mmeona ile desire tunatengeneza hapa 
hapa kama imba dhabahu yake yenyewe kutoka hapa kurudi hapa nadhani ile mchego itakuwa hapa itakuwa over half a million hiyo kutoka hapa tu sasa atujaenda huko kule juu tuko mpaka na balcony one balcony two eh na ni kwa sababu tuna imitation ya space ile kitu tunatengeneza hapa hapa hakuna kitu inarudi hapa deserve ti bao utaikuta hapa hakuna bao inarudishwa hapa hapana tuna if hata hizi wa hakuna wasti mtu ana imehanga hapa imejiona zimepita hivi kama madiu hakuna au utakuwa ukiona waya na kitu kwa ukiona stima baada ya sasa na wili tema hata hizi vitu tunaziondoa hizi viti za plastic hii sio kiwango yetu tunaziondoa in jesus name ni kama madhabahu ni ya blue viti ni za blue na sio kitu unakaa mpaka unaanza kuangalia masaa ni kitu unakaa nasikia hata pasta akihubiri hata akiendea hiyo message one more hour i'll be comfortable hizi zitakuwa za kuvijana wetu mko na bahati sana hizi ni viti za hema tunandoa hema zingine za za kufanyia mogidhi ya bii na bwana harusi hapo na ya wazazi pale na ya marafiki hapo na viti za white amen hizi ni za harusi sasa hizi sio za hapa tena because we want to give to god imagine tumesoma na, na scripture kwenye uh, kings ya uh, na pastor weru ya kombo alitoa 22000 did i hear right 22000 bulls na unajua bull ya kuchinjwa sio kale kadume atakanaenda hivi ni ndume hata ukiona hivi unaneroa hiyo neroaga yani unaweza kama inapigana kwa sababu vile inakanyanga hivi inakanyanga inatetemeka ndume au 100000 so ende ufanye mahesabu yako uone hiyo madhabahu ile kero dhabihu ya pesa ina gani nakuta ni billions of money naye Mungu akasema katika hiyo madhabahu kuna vile tutajenga hapa na that's i felt it in my spirit kuna watu akiingia tu hapa hata hajaombewa kuja tu kuingia pale anakuwa delivered yani hapo inaenda kwa sababu ameenda in a very powerful altar hallelujah let us understand the days are gone wakati wa kufanya yani kufanya vitu za Mungu yani kwamba kutengeza kanisa ni kwenda pale kunitoje pale kaliobaki no hapo na na hapa chini face 5 na hata hivi kila hivi sisi ndakuwa na mali kuna ito Israeli hivi tu sina itoje orodha nienda kwa orodha unaweza hiyo mabati ni ngapi yani mabati jibombolo wa juba ingine kijeko wa town ya wahindi na bwa ah uh, name of the 250 eh tu fifte kawa kenye de yagoro watia muna bagei ni una usio wan that five unakuta iko na red green yellow if you like it crown it lakini haijashikana so unakuta if you inakugo hapo xc hapo sasa ukiangalia hiyo bati watu wanakutana hapo unashidwa wale watu wako serious unajua kuna kitu unachaka mpaka watu wana wanakosea mguu wako heshima bwana yesu asifiwe hapo tutajaga nyumba mzuri ya mungu E nyumba mpaka utakutaka kuitadishwa nayo. Utaambia chechi yenu. Hawa chachi yetu ndio pale 41. Ukishuka tu hata angalia tu pande waku kulia. Ile building ile kitu outstanding utaona hapo. Hapo ndio unashiriki. Unajua kuna watu hata vile tulikao tunakaa hapa. Kuna mtu anakuja hapa anasema pasta ako na neno mzuri lakini na ibika kwa hiyo chachi yake. Watakuja sasa but it's as fewi an artist has an ability to change even a whole region he na dio maana mungu ametuweka na dola face 3 katikati ya face 5 na face 1 hapa katikati tutasukuma hivi to the north na sukuma to the south to the west to the east we are pushing kuna maroho haita tamaraki eneo vile kuna semekana titadua ni mali kwa waisi na nini hey that is a story of the past we are opening a new chapter in jesus name We are overthrowing, we are destroying, we are overturning altars that were raised and we are raising an altar 
na hii itafanya watu watakuja hapo akilia machozi hapo wenda wazimu na hata tutaanza bali tutaanza Yesu alisema aliwatuma wapi waze wapi Jerusalem kesho waende wapi then waende wapi then to the ends of the earth Mungu alinyonyesha nikiombea watu wakifufuka na wenda wazimu wakirudi mno Moses kuna wenda wazimu na unanga hapa wao ndio kwanza tutadiru tuta nao warudi nomo aende jumani ametembea huko haya huyo ni nani nikiye mara bwana mnanitorokea kai uliko nini imefanyika hapa mimi nimeombewa mimi nimeokoka nipatie ni chakula na bwana ni avai vua go baya vivi bafu iko wapi nataka kuoka nipatie ni guo safi unafikiria mwenda wazimu akipona kuna ijitu enda kuhubiri kule nje wa hata dugu zake hata kama ni wa dini gani watakusema huko ali huko alipata solution kwa uniko togo die hapa atakuna space wapendwa hii itakuwa fanya hii itakuwa ni kama kapulea center sisi tunahitaji kama that acres eh na ifikia vile mnasema ni kama nasema tunahitaji acres of land in Nairobi this is a too small a space it is too small sasa oreshi ya toke telia madiko yani watu walikuwa menda oi baba oi baba ameenda ameenda in the name of Jesus amka wewe unafikiria hapa kutakuwa na space Tuta, kwanza tunaekea watu hema kule hema kubwa tunaeka skin kubwa pale kile kinaendelea hapa ndani wanaona kule nje sasa parking that's another problem but you cross that bridge where we get there amen maana hata yako haitakuja <laughs> amen ah god is good hallelujah i want us to wind up today's service Uh, we will continue next week lakini kitaka asubuhi adhuhi letu na posimama na miguu yetu even as we give our offerings and our sacrifices ningetaka tusimama na miguu yetu tusimama tu na miguu yako wherever you are ningetaka tuweze kuomba kwa pamoja ningetaka Mungu maana ametupatia nafasi you know in the bible mwandishi alisema there is nothing new under the sun there is nothing new under the sun vile tu Mungu alipatia kina uh, uh, Solomon the opportunity to build the house of God and through that altar Mungu akaitumia na vile sio kwamba hata wale walioenda kwenye uh, watakao kuja wakiwa na shida wakiwa na nini nitawafungua that is what i want us to pray for because God in his hour in our day ametupatia nafasi kama hii ya kununua viwanja ya kuweza kujengea nyumba ya kuweza kufanya kitu ambacho kita ushikamana na pingu haleluya ningetaka wewe tu kuchiombea mwambie bwana i know i've come to this altar not by mistake vile mungu alikuleta hapa amekuleta hapa kwa sababu ako na kusudi na maisha yako ningetaka tu wewe kuchiombea for a minute just tell the lord i pray that today that you help me na joni miongea mambo mengi sana but i start in one area the holy spirit would want you to focus on We are, we are fighting different battles we are facing different challenges kuna kile wewe unapitia mimi niko kiwango kingine wewe uko kiwango kingine tunapigana vita vya aina tofauti but today oh we are the kind today that the enemy shall not have an upper hand in our lives anymore atas that we are is that oh chiombe mengine tunahitaji mungu atufunulie mambo yaliyofichwa kwenye giza mambo ambayo hatuyajui oh maneno yalitangazwa demonic contracts demonic agreements zilifanywa kwetu nyumbani oh my god situkamwombe bwana siku ya leo ya kwamba chochote kile shetani alifanya alipanga alitenda ah kule wazazi wetu kule ndugu zetu kule marafiki wetu bali tuhusisha kwa mambo tulifikiria tu nipate tumeenda tulifikiria tu ya kwamba ni marafiki wazuri ya kwamba tu nikikundi ni chama tumeenda ya kwamba ni self help group tumeanza kumbe ni madhabahu yalikuwa yanainuliwa wengine waliingia innocent ina 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 women chama wengine waliingia kwa madhabahu hawakujua kumbe waliingishwa wakifikia kwamba ni ni, ni self help group wanaingia lakini ni shetani alikuwa anapangia to destroy destiny zao oh how i pray for you today in the name of jesus that god will help you 
that God will help you that God will help you that you'll be able to rise that you'll be able to stand that the enemy shall not have an hand anymore kule shetani alitukua na fasi aka kuzuidia aka kupinga kule jamii zenu kule jambe yopatano saida wengine it is the matano saida that have issues wengine it is the matano saida wengine ni kutoka kwa upande wa baba yenu ndio kuna shida wengine ni kutoka kwa mama yenu ndio kuna shida wengine wote wawili oh walishikamana wote wakiwa na shida oh mmoja mali madena mali tamio wai kidawa wai yorora the god has struggled you and they gave back to you that has struggled but not anymore in our day you are given a chance to raise an altar to you the living God that our lives may not be the same that our lives may be healed that our lives may rise again Mungu ato katika biashara ya kukata vitomu ya watu kutenganisha watu na vifungo na agenda na makosudi ya kishetani Mungu ato katika biashara siku ya leo ya kufungua watu ya kuwaondoa kwenye mifungo ya kuwa na sua kutoka kwenye mitego ya mwana kaltasa oh covenant and contract that when some was signed using blood some was signed and ratified using the blood of bulls the blood of goats even human blood na takaza katika jina la Yesu Kristo destroyed from the border from our families from our marriages the god that did not make them as the earth even they shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens and from our families and from our legions and from the works of our hands and from our marriages and from our sons and daughters the god that did not make them as the earth they have no more power over our lives the god that did not make the heavens and the earth they have no grip anymore in our nation the gods that did not make the heavens and the earth they shall not control our tribes they shall not cause even our children to remember the shrines of their fathers the gods that did not make the heavens and the earth they have no more power to manipulate us to frustrate us to cause us to lack to cause us to fight battles that have no victory in the name of Jesus Christ they have no more power to cause delay to cause stagnation to cause cycles they at the end of a breakthrough perennial sicknesses hard labor with ritual results that are as they make a mission mambo yote shetani imekuwa kifanya akikusudia kutuweza kutugandamiza kufrustrate maisha yetu na tangaza katika jina la Yesu Kristo that from this altar there shall be deliverance from this altar there shall be restoration from this altar i declare oh that this house of jacob the children of god they are possessing back their possession they are receiving back their health they are receiving back their finances they are receiving back from this altar there will be life there will be healing there will be deliverance the houses the families that have struggled they will possess back their possessions because of the mighty God because of the hand of God the God of Jacob who has brought to help us by the altar of the living God and the name of God Jesus Christ who was raised on that side of that altar in that Gaza ya kwamba Mungu atajidhihirisha mwenye nguvu kwenye maisha yetu
Yesu Kristo alidhihirishwa akaibuliwa akiwa dhabihu na kafara ya ya mara moja na kutosha kuweza kujamazisha kazi zote za kishetani wale miguu yao ilikanyaga kwa mababu wale mikono yao ilitoa sadaka na kafara tuderon atasa i declare not to remove the enemy has no more power over your life we are rising in the name of the lord we are rising in the name of the lord we are rising in the name of the lord we are rising in the name of the lord
Natangaza siku za utumwa zimeisha Ni lazima uachiliwe Natangaza hiyo nyote yako iwachiliwe Hatuma yako natangaza iwachiliwe Mekatali yote iliyo zunguka Those demonic cobwebs over your head Na zilarua kwa upando wa roho Every demonic cobweb Na ilarua That demonic covering of darkness Ni natangaza ikaondoke Katika jina la iso kristo The life of God is flowing The life of God is flowing It is flowing from the top of your head Ugasikia ni kama maji ya na mkumu wagikia Natangaza kuna maji Kuna gulu zinashuka juu yako Na zina teremuka Oh Zina teremuka kwenye mwili wako To the womb of your spirit Oh natangaza Gulu zote Hata za impotence Gulu zote za baleness Gulu zote za nana achievement Zina vunjika In the name of Jesus Christ The life of God Is flowing in our lives Iyo mwana mungu wetu Nasikia nguvu nyingi wapendwa Oh laitu geugamana na izi nguvu Laitu geugamana tu na izi nguvu And your life will never be the same again In the name of Jesus Na kushukuru mwana mungu wetu Ni kwa sababu hui kristu yesu ni dihirishwa So that you may put not every work of the wicked one Na siku ya reo katika madhabahu haya I put not every work of the wicked one in this marriages In this family I put not I declare to you demonic forces This far have you come But not any further This family must be set free Our husbands must be set free Our wives must be set free Our marriage partners must be released In the name of Jesus Word must find its way to our hands Opportunities that are of God Will locate us in the name of Jesus Oh God You are doing it to God You are doing it to God Bring it to God. Father, I thank you for your word. Psalms 107 says, You sent your word and healed our diseases. And I declare so it is and so shall it be. The word that you have released today, I to watch it marry to the core. It is taking us from one glory to another level of glory. Macho yetu ya nafunguka. Masikio yetu ya nafunguka. Kule mawazo yetu Ya liweza kufunikwa na kugumbikwa na giza Natangaza muangaza juu yako Moyo wako utapambanua You will be able to know what is right and what is wrong That which the enemy has done The Lord shall reveal to you And the enemy can do nothing about it Natangaza siku ya leo It marks the beginning of a new season Of your life In the name of Jesus Sema buwana Yesu Siku ya leo Nimesikia neno lako Ninaomba msamaha Na utakaso Kwa kida dhambi ya siri Kule kuna dhambi sija wai kiri Na shetani ya meitumia Asaligo ground Kama haki ya kisheria Ya kunizuiria Nisifanikiwe Nisibarikiwe Ninaomba unisamehe Ninaomba unitakase Na siku ya leo That legal ground Ikaundolewe Kwenye maisha yangu Kwa daka moja just tell the Lord Imuambie mwana Just confess that sin Oh sema tu kida ulifanya bere za mungu I may not hear it Your neighbor may not hear it But tell the Lord This I know I did Mimi diyo nilifanya hii kuwavya mimba Mimi diyo nipereka pesa hizi kwa uyo mganga Mimi diyo nilienda nikachajwa Mimi diyo nilienda na migu yangu menyewe I got it to the city city relationship Mimi diyo nilifanya Hii sexual immorality Is I who did it Ni mimi menyewe I corrupted my way to get in this job 
I know I should not have done it. Najua ni mimi nilifungua huu mlango, nilifanya dhambi hii. Oh, niliingia, nilijihusisha na huyu mkubwa wangu, ndio nipate promotion. Father, I pray that you forgive me today. Bless me. Make me whole today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to release you from that uh, legal hold the enemy had had over your life. Baba pendo hawa wa mekiri katika madhabahu haya. Zile siri hata za dhambi. Abao hata wa umewao hawajui. Hata wa kewao hawajui. Hata hakuna mtu anajua. Walifunika. Nae shetani ya kachukua nafasi ile. Oh God kuwa kadamiza. As your word have said that whoever conceals his sin does not prosper. Bwana, ninaondoa that demonic covering in the name of Jesus. Naondoa adhali za ile dhambi na the curse that was upon them. And I release you from that bondage. I release you from that prison. I decree to get prison gates opening. Toka kutoka kwenye ile seli. Toka kwa ile jela siku ya leo. You shall not be a victim of the enemy anymore. Natagaza kwa zia siku ya leo Oh that legal ground has been removed And the blood of Jesus Christ It is speaking for you And speaking against Any other altar And those sacrifices And that legal ground In the name of Jesus Christ We bless you Lord We exhort you Lord For what you have done And what you are doing Sema I receive my miracle I receive my new season My life is rising those demonic patterns are breaking I'm taking I'm going to the next level I'm rising to new levels in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus kuwa tu umesimama nikitaka utarisha sadaka yako na dhabihu yako siku ya leo nikitaka uweze kutarisha sadaka yako but what you do this week next week utaeka tu sadaka kwenye madhabahu Nikitaka utatoa sadaka yako wale ambao ungetaka kutoa kupitia kwa paybill number paybill number yetu ni 07 eh, ni, ni 79 3116793116 wale ambao ungetaka kutoa kutoa kwa uh, namba ya simu ni 0726 287 356 0726 287 356 ndipo sio sadaka ile na nikitaka utajiletea tu hapa mbele tutatumia this end na the other end hapa katika tunatumia kwa sababu ya cameras before we tumalize tuweze kuorganize vizuri eh, ah nikitaka tuweze kupokea our our blessings from the altar na nisema kwamba tunapofanya kazi hii i would want to commit themselves usikio tu sadaka kama za kawaida na kama fadiliza kama, kama ni kama vile tulizoea zamani I would want you to make a commitment. Kuseme hii pesa hata kama nikukopa nitakopa nitoe kwa madhabahu. Si tumeshaikopa tukufanya mambo mengi sana. Unakopa siju unafanya nini? Unakopa kuenda ratio, unakopa kununua nguo. So unakuta ile nguo unatembea nayo ni ya deni. But you can do something better. You can serve God by sacrifice. God has never been served by convenience. You serve God by sacrifice. Amen. Tunapotoa sadaka zetu siku ya leo na tunapokuigonesha madhabahu tunapomwambia Bwana, we desire to see you. We desire to walk with you. We desire to see your hand manifested in our lives. Twende tu zetu kuinua sadaka yako ni kuombe popote uliko katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, Baba naombea sadaka hizi. Wengine wameshaitoa dhabihu kwenye madhabahu zingine na ziku wa madhabahu zako mungu wengine walidaganyika wakaeda kwa diviners wakifikia kwa bani madhabahu ya mungu lakini wanapunganisha sadaka zao na madhabahu haya na watenganisha na dhabihu na kafara and the curses and the hexes that were released upon their lives na natagaza their hands just as you deliver the children of Israel their hands from the pots oh God and for the hard labor oh God over of Egypt so shall you do utaondoa pendo hawa they will not work hard and struggle only to get a handful oh god i speak productivity to these hands i speak life 
I speak restoration. And from this altar, I declare there will be holiness. There will be deliverance. And the house of Jacob, they are possessing back their possessions. I declare, Dabu zote abo zinatolewa siku ya leo. Najua kuna wengi utanenea wakiwa kalibu na wakiwa mbali. Oh God, kuungamana na sisi mwana. Nami na wambia baraka. Na utawabadilishia hati mazao. Historia zao zitabadilika. Kwa utukufu wa jina lako. We give you praise and honor. And it's in Jesus name we pray and give thanks. Amen. God bless you. We are about to go uh, online. We are done with our service. God bless you so much. Sasa tutabaki na wale about to go katika live service. Amen. God bless you. Uh, Tuneza Maliza. Uh, your session. Your sessions. Kwa uh, Facebook. Kwa live recording. Kwa live recording.